Okay, so let's uh, attempt this problem. So using the Nernst equation, we're going to calculate the uh, cell potential. So um, we're testing a voltaic cell consisting of a zinc, zinc 2 plus half cell and a hydrogen um, proton half cell under the following conditions. Uh, the zinc 2 plus concentration is 0 0.010 molar proton concentration is 2.5 molar, and the um, pressure of hydrogen is 0 0.30 atm. So calculate the um, cell potential at 298.15 kelvin. Okay, so remember, if you're going to do it at 25 degrees Celsius or that 298 kelvin, that's going to be the um, Nernst equation that's reduced to that 0 0.0592 volts per N. So, um, oh, we're using the Nernst equation in this particular problem. So, um, the first thing we want to do, of course, is balance the two half reactions. So, um, if you need to, go back to your half reaction list and look at them. Okay, so uh, we're going to have, in this case, proton, so two protons, plus two electrons, goes to H2 gas. You guys remember the potential for that one? Anybody? Zero, right? That's the reference potential. Okay, so that thing is good to memorize, okay, that particular 0 0.00 volts, we'll say. Okay, that's probably the best way to describe it. And then the zinc um, half reaction is going to be zinc solid it goes to zinc 2 plus aqueous plus 2 electrons. And then, of course, in this case, you're going to have to look at your table and figure out what. Um, the potential that is, and I looked at the table, and it's 0 0.76 volts. So now, of course, we should um, balance these equipped two half reactions, and hopefully, you can see they're already balanced for us. It's kind of convenient. So let's write out the whole reaction. So cancel, cancel, get two protons aqueous plus zinc solid goes to H2 gas plus zinc 2 plus aqueous. So from that, we should be able to figure out what the cell potential is. So that's going to be, you guys remember the E, I'll help you out, cathode minus E anode. Okay. So we want this to be positive. So which one's going to be the cathode then? Top or bottom? Top one. Okay, is everybody okay with identifying that stuff? Okay, remember the most negative thing is the anode always. Okay. So, 0 0.00 volts minus A minus 0 0.76 volts gives us 0 0.0. I guess one thing that we should um, say, since we're going to be using the Nernst equation, um, is we're going to want to remember or figure out how many moles of electrons have been transferred. So n, remember. So what is n in this particular equation? Yeah. Um, and 
the other thing we want to do, so why, do, why were we given these things? Because we need to find Q for the Nernst equation. So I'm telling you all this. Let's write down the Nernst equation. You guys remember what the Nernst equation is? So, yes. Yeah. So E what? Cell. cell equals what? Standard potential of the cell. So did we figure that out already? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, oh, help me out. Minus. 0.0592 volts over N. Do we have N? Yes. yes. Cool. Times what? Log. Log of Q. So what are we missing? Q. Q. Can we figure that out from our balanced equation here? Yes. Yeah. So what is Q? Let's write it over here. The actual equation for it. So remember, for gases, we use the partial pressure, okay? So hydrogen, the so partial pressure of hydrogen, like that, times the concentration of zinc 2 plus, very good, divided by, well, are we going to put zinc in there? No. So divided by the protons there, right? And what do we do to that? So that's Q. So let's see what happens. And remember, no units for Q. So let's not put any of the units in there so we don't get it. Times. What's the concentration? Any questions on anything like that? Okay, I think the, well, this is kind of a combination of everything that you've learned, all the equilibrium stuff, um, balancing half reactions, uh, figuring out the cell potential. Um, so if you can do this, I think you guys are good.